<laughs> Please like, share and subscribe our channel to learn and enjoy our free online educational videos from class nursery to 10. Please click the bell icon to get all new updated videos. Chapter 1 Mother and Child When mother herself was a child, Neha was at her maternal grandparents' house looking through an old album. She came across a photograph in which her mother was holding a trophy. She asked her grandmother about it. Grandmother smiled and said, Your mother got this trophy when she topped her school in class 10. When she was in school or college, she won many such trophies. Her mother Sunita joined in too. Neha realized that she doesn't know much about her mother's childhood. Which school did her mother go to? Who were her friends? What did she do during her free time? She wanted to know more. Sunita smiled at her daughter's questions. She then shared some stories of her childhood with Neha. Sunita showed some photographs to Neha, which are related to her childhood memories. After seeing the old photographs of her mother, now Neha became so curious to know more about her childhood. Sunita told that her father was a manager in a government bank. His job required him to get transferred to a new city every few years. So Sunita and her brother Rahul went to many different schools and visited many cities during their childhood. She told Neha that when they were children, they used to play a lot of outdoors games. In the evening, the other children in the neighborhood would also join them. They would climb trees, play on swings and many other indoor games too. There were no computers during that time. Nor were there so many channels showing on the television. So they got to spend a lot of time with their friends. Badminton was a favorite sport and loved to play it at school as, as well as with her friends in the neighborhood. On holidays, they would visit fairs and parks with their parents. It was indeed a lot of fun. Families change after marriage. When Sunita got married, she had to leave her school job in Mumbai and move to Delhi where her husband and his family were staying. Sunita's new family was a joint family. She lived with her husband, her husband's mother, who was her mother-in-law, and her husband's father, who was her father-in-law. Her husband's elder brother, who was her brother-in-law, was married and lived with his wife and two children in the same house. After two years of marriage, Neha was born. Sunita's Family Tree Soon after marriage, Sunita got busy with her new family and its various responsibilities. She told Neha how her surname was changed after she got married. Before marriage, she was Sunita Gupta. After marriage, she added her husband's family name to her maiden name and became Sunita Gupta Agrawal. Today, Sunita's family tree looks like this. Sunita, father-in-law, mother-in-law. And from there on, it's brother-in-law, sister-in-law, and then their son and daughter. And then, of course, on the other branch of the family tree is husband of Sunita and then Neha. How are babies born? One common feature between animals and human beings is that they produce young ones. The process through which animals and human beings produce more of their own kind is called reproduction. Human beings and some animals such as cows, dogs, cats and lions give birth to young ones. Such animals are known as mammals. In the mother's womb, the growing babies are provided with food and oxygen. Human baby takes nine months to be born. Birds, fish, insects, snakes and lizards are animals that lay eggs. Babies hatch out of these eggs. Whether it is human being or animal, the parents take care of the babies and fulfill all the needs. They provide them with food, shelter and every other need. Adoption Neha's parental aunt Natasha has no children. She meets Sara, a five-year-old girl, in an orphanage. Sara had lost her natural parents in tsunami floods. Natasha and her husband decided to adopt her, bring her up as their own child. They will be her foster parents till the legal formalities for adoption are over. Sara is happy that she will have a new home. Natasha and her husband have become proud parents. Trying to relearn. Families change after marriage. A woman lives with her parents before marriage. After marriage, she moves to the house of her husband and his family. The process through which animals and human beings produce more of their own kind is called reproduction. Some animals lay eggs. To adopt a child and to raise him as their own child is known as adoption.